Hi, my name is Jennifer Pero, and this is my 12th year as a public school educator. One of my assignments this year is to teach an intro to cybersecurity course to high school students. This makes me especially excited to introduce you to the cybersecurity curriculum framework with my colleague, Mark Emery, who will be speaking later in this video. As more teachers integrate cybersecurity into their classrooms, the need for a coherent curriculum framework becomes more pressing. A curriculum framework sets the parameters, directions, and standards for curriculum policy and practice. It is a systematic way to organize and manage content, policies, procedures, concepts, and so on. A curriculum framework is important because it enables educators to effectively plan properly sequenced activities so as to provide learning opportunities that target desired learning outcomes. Curriculum developers and teachers seek to ensure that students develop a base of knowledge, skills, attitudes, beliefs, and values that will enable them to function successfully in cybersecurity college programs and careers. Curriculum designed using this framework should appeal to students who have a broad range of interests and a variety of backgrounds. As cybersecurity becomes a part of nearly every aspect of society, an important prerequisite is interest, the ability to problem solve, and a curious nature. The intent is that a course based on this framework will entice students into the field of cybersecurity by exposing them to the diverse opportunities available. The framework used for Introduction to Cybersecurity was modeled after AP Computer Science Principles Curriculum Framework, which was based on Understanding by Design by Wiggins and McTeague. It was designed by educators from high school and higher education institutions that collectively have vast experience teaching computer science and cybersecurity. Feedback was sought across the country from high school educators teaching computer science and or cybersecurity courses, cybersecurity educators from higher education institutions, and members of government and industry that have a need for highly skilled workers. This document guides curriculum in that expresses what should be taught rather than how to teach it and provides students with a visible guide to successfully complete the course. Introduction to Cybersecurity is intended to be equivalent to an intro course in cybersecurity at either community college or university. Thanks, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. My name is Mark Emery, and I am a high school computer science teacher in Austin, Texas. I'm here to tell you about the guts of our framework, which are the big ideas, the enduring understandings, the learning objectives, and the essential knowledge statements. So let's start with the big ideas because, well, they're big. These ideas are broad, encompassing areas of importance to cybersecurity. That is, they're so critical that all aspects of, of cybersecurity are affected by them. When writing a curriculum that maps to this framework, the scope of the big ideas should be intertwined in lessons throughout the entire curriculum. The big ideas in conjunction with the cybersecurity mindset should drive how we teach which, so that it ensures that understanding of the big ideas are acquired um, at course completion. Underlying the big ideas are a set of essential questions. These questions elicit a response from students that display a breadth and depth of knowledge within each big idea to ensure that a comprehensive understanding of those big ideas is acquired. This summative knowledge base uh, is listed underneath the big ideas as an enduring understanding statement, or we like to call them EUs. There may be one or more EUs uh, listed underneath each big idea. Enduring understandings are statements of importance to cybersecurity and all the core processes that are central to cybersecurity and have a lasting effect outside of the classroom. Enduring understandings synthesize what students should understand as a result of knowing about and doing cybersecurity. Enduring understandings are lasting and nearly unchanging. Course assessment should directly address these EUs, and projects should aim to produce artifacts that depict both the big ideas and the enduring understanding statements. Next are the learning objectives, or LOs, which lie beneath the enduring understanding statements. There uh, is at least one LO for each enduring understanding statement. Learning objectives work in tandem with the cybersecurity mindset, uh, by requiring students to complete tasks that will prepare students to successfully defend a system. 
completed LOs give students the working knowledge needed to create a, a lasting knowledge of cybersecurity. LOs are written as action statements where students are to complete tasks in order for completion and mastery. Finally, we have the essential knowledge statements or EKs. EKs clarify the learning objectives. Um, they offer specific statements of fact that students should know by the end of the course. And these essential knowledge statements are written as flexible and may be changed when new technologies emerge. There you have it, our framework for a more secure tomorrow, which begins with educating our students of today. Thank you.